Prescribed for you when death approaches any of you, if he leaves wealth, is that he should make a bequest for the parents and near relatives according to what is reasonable, a duty upon the righteous. For men is a share of what the parents and close relatives leave, and for women is a share of what the parents and close relatives leave, be it little or much, an obligatory share. And when other relatives and orphans and the needy are present at the time of division, then provide for them something out of the estate and speak to them words of appropriate kindness. Allah instructs you concerning your children. For the male, what is equal to the share of two females. But if there are only daughters, two or more, for them is two-thirds of one's estate. And if there is only one, for her is half. And for one's parents, to each one of them is a sixth of his estate if he left children. But if he had no children and the parents alone inherit from him, then for his mother is one-third. And if he had brothers or sisters, for his mother is a sixth after any bequest he may have made or debt. Your parents or your children, you know not which of them are nearest to you in benefit. These shares are an obligation imposed by Allah. Indeed, Allah is ever-knowing and wise. And for you is half of what your wives leave if they have no child. But if they have a child, for you is one-fourth of what they leave, after any bequest they may have made or debt. And for the wives is one-fourth if you leave no child. But if you leave a child, then for them is an eighth of what you leave, after any bequest you may have made or debt. And if a man or woman leaves neither ascendants nor descendants, but has a brother or a sister, then for each one of them is a sixth. But if they are more than two, they share a third, after any bequest which was made or debt, as long as there is no detriment caused. This is an ordinance from Allah, and Allah is knowing and forbearing. O you who have believed, it is not lawful for you to inherit women by compulsion, and do not make difficulties for them in order to take back part of what you gave them, unless they commit a clear immorality and live with them in kindness. For if you dislike them, perhaps you dislike a thing, and Allah makes therein much good. And for all, we have made heirs to what is left by parents and relatives. And to those whom your oaths have bound to you, give them their share. Indeed, Allah is ever, over all things, a witness. They request from you a legal ruling. Say, Allah gives you a ruling concerning one having neither descendants nor ascendants as heirs. If a man dies, leaving no child but only a sister, she will have half of what he left. And he inherits from her if she dies and has no child. But if there are two sisters or more, they will have two-thirds of what he left. If there are both brothers and sisters, the male will have the share of two females. Allah makes clear to you his law lest you go astray, and Allah is knowing of all things. And you consume inheritance, devouring it altogether. <laughs>